signing a two-year contract there. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, uh, the board offered us a job, and I took a couple of days to think about it. Uh, after taking the training Thursday and Friday, and the performance of the boys turning for us yesterday, I was more than delighted to accept the job. It's obviously been a, a traumatic week at Starts Park with, with bullying allegations, we should say, against your former manager, John McVeigh. How have you felt about taking over from him? I'm delighted there's great foundation being left at Starts Park with, with John. Uh, the other stuff I don't want to get involved in at all. Mm. I'm there to look after the football side of things. Uh, I told the boys that when I spoke to him on Thursday. And I told them that after the game yesterday. And I think we can all gel together. Uh, it could be a successful time for Wraith Rovers. Kenny, how pleased are you to be number two at Wraith? Absolutely delighted, Jim. Uh, Peter's gave me the opportunity to come in there, uh, and obviously I'm still going to be playing. Well, hopefully, <laughs> if he picks me. <laughs> uh, but it's an exciting time ahead. Unfortunately, all obviously with, with John leaving, uh, but it gives me an opportunity to step in there. And Peter says there's a good base there, so a lot of young players to work with. Yes, definitely. I've been working with the young youngsters at the start of the season, and uh, there's two or three of them got a, a very good chance of making the grade. Well, we're going to talk to you later in the programme, guys. Thanks very much indeed for joining us this afternoon. Now, this old Peter Heatherston, the caretaker boss for this one, but as we've revealed already, he's now been appointed manager at Starks Park. Sit back now for six goals from each of the two games. Here's David again. Race under new management. If Peter Heatherston was still considering the manager's job at the start, his mind would have been partly made up after just two minutes. That's all it took for Mark Roberts to score from a ridiculous angle. But Inverness have proved they're no whipping boys in this division, and they came back into the game thanks chiefly to the efforts of former Rovers player Kevin Byers. Although when the cross comes over, it's hard to see why the referee pointed to the spot. Craig McEwen and David Zora clashing. It's a soft award, but finished in customary style for Paul Sheeran. Alex Burns will be a key man for Heatherston as he attempts to steer Rovers into the Premier Division. The former Motherwell man headed Rovers into the lead seven minutes before the break. The announcer had only just identified the scorer when Burns put Wraith 3-1 up. He shows he has pace as well as an eye for goal, and that's a second with jam on top for the man they call Toasty. To their credit, Inverness refused to buckle and they reduced the deficit before half time. Martin Bavage was the near post header. But Rover sealed the points midway through the second half. Paul Brown's determination in helping Wraith to third place and no doubt helping Peter Heatherston make up his mind to accept the manager's job. Now his team only have to do the same every week. Yeah, after all what's went on during the week, delighted with the performance of the boys. <coughs> uh, they made it a wee bit easier for me to, to take the job. Uh, Thursday, Thursday, Friday in training were magnificent. And then performance yesterday just shows how good the professionals are. And I think, Jim, if, if the players on the park put as half much effort into their game and in their training all week, as Colm McGowan, Danny Smith and the rest of the board of directors mm -hmm. do at Starts Park, well, I don't see problems. I think we'll be fighting promotion at the end of the season. Kenny, we were talking beforehand, 19 games to go. Is that enough to make up the leeway? Yeah, 19 victories, that'd be great. That'd be marvellous. Um, smashing. <laughs> but I think it's more importantly when we, when we play St Man, we've, we've got uh, St Man to play twice, we've got to make sure we beat them. Mm -hmm. Because it's really, really, they've got themselves in a position where even this early on, they can only throw it away, I think. So the key now, Peter, instilling confidence. Yeah, definitely. That place is buzzing. <clears throat> it's great to be there, you know. Uh, it's great to have Kenny there on the park. He does absolutely brilliant for us. Seeing that some of his performances in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing I was going to pick him yesterday, but uh, once again he's he's done the business for me. I'm delighted with him. Okay, lads, thanks very much indeed for joining us.